Sochi may be far away, but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy some Olympic venues of your own. And today on At Your Leisure, we're showing them off to you. Join me, Stephen Human, and Alicia Staten as we get strapped in for some of the most intense winter sports imaginable. Want to hit 60 miles per hour with your face a couple of inches from the ice? This is the show for you. Chad Booth will also highlight winter recreation in one of the most pristine areas in the West and Reese Stein snowshoes his way to the heights. Let the games begin. At Your Leisure is next. We're about to hit an Olympic bobsled. Welcome to At Your Leisure, I'm Alicia Staten. And I'm Stephen Human. We are here at the Olympic Park in Park City, Utah, home of part of the Winter Games from 2002. And this is one of the only places in the world where you can actually go on a bobsled. And it's the only place where you can actually go from the top. So we are gonna hit it right now and you're coming with us. Let's go. It's gonna be awesome. Here we go. Here we go. That was I don't even crazy. know what to say. Oh my like, gosh, Alicia, Steven, how was that? I started giggling and then it didn't go any further than that. We just ran from the top to the bottom on an Olympic bobsled run. 55 seconds of pure adrenaline running through your bones. I am oh amazed. Gosh. I have always wanted to do that this, was, Steve. Okay, see, and you're hitting the turns and it's like forcing you down. You're like. Whoa, and the world is just blowing by. We almost hit 80 miles an hour. All right, well, this is gonna be a great episode. We're gonna take you on all the things you can enjoy here at the Olympic Park. We're gonna show them to you firsthand. And remember, all of this we're gonna do today, you and your family can come out and enjoy. This is gonna be an amazing show. I'm so excited. Absolutely. But right now we gotta go do our travel adventure. Let's head off to Pinewoods Resort. Thanks, Steve. Well, now, I've ridden that bobsled before in the summertime. Probably not as cold, but it's equally as fast. And I don't know, do you have a little whiplash there? Because my neck was really stiff when I was done. I, however, am also participating in something that's a winter Olympic event, cross-country skiing. But I'm down here in Cedar Mountain, just uh, north of St. George and kind of to the west of Cedar City and east of Kanab. Beautiful mountain up here. In the wintertime or summer, there's so many things to do. Today, I'm going to show you around the mountain and take you on a tour of the fun you can have year-round, and you can do it all from one resort. Highway 14 is a scenic byway that leads east out of Cedar City, Utah, into the heights of the Dixie National Forest. And on its way over the mountain, it brings visitors to Duck Creek Village and Pinewoods Resort, where we begin our adventure. Pinewoods Resort is a hidden jewel up here at uh, Duck Creek Village. It's a gateway to the national parks, uh, Bryce, Zion. You got Navajo Lake if you're into fishing, snowmobiling, ATVing, horseback riding, Brian Head that's just right next, down the road here. I came up here and I just fell in love with this place. It's like I seen all these ponderosa pines, I seen the snow and I got on a snowmobile and just went, oh my God, what a place to see. For Stony Ward of Awesome Adventures, that's really saying something since he takes people out to experience Western beauty on a daily basis. Today, he is touring with a group from Las Vegas looking to find some snow and beauty that they've never experienced before. Well, they found what they were looking for with Cedar Mountain and Pinewoods. Pinewoods actually began life as a steakhouse back in the 1980s, but over time just kind of grew from a restaurant to become a full resort with cabins and equipment rentals for different activities. This time of year, of course, this entire area is blanketed in a deep layer of snow. And while boondocking and extreme sledding are, of course, available, the spectacular sights of Cedar Mountain tend to trump the adrenaline-fueled thrills every day of the week. Snowmobiling out here is actually kind of one of a kind. I mean, you can go anywhere else in the state of Utah, plenty of good snow, but this area in particular, there are lots of great locations right here within 10, 15 miles of this uh, Pinewoods Resort. We spent four or five hours out on the sleds today. We took what is called Trail One, which looped us around to a place that is called uh, Strawberry Point. 
and then we continued on the opposite direction, which eventually took us out to the ice caves. After that, right across the highway again, then you have your Cedar Breaks National Monument, which if nobody has checked that out, I highly recommend that, very beautiful. There's so many different places to see, but it's all so close together. Right now, areas like Cedar Breaks are frosted with hints of white, but in two months, that will no longer be the case, and Cedar Mountain itself will look very different. That fact does not change the recreational possibilities, however. ATVing takes the place of snowmobiling as the quickest way to get around. Trails move through the trees and to many of the same overlooks that greet the eye in winter. But now the red rocks are accented by green. Pinewoods Resort is actually already gearing up for spring with new activities planned to get people out on the mountain. We're uh, expanding a little bit. We're going to offer uh, skeet shooting. If you want to go zip lining, we have the razors. We're going to do some paddle boarding too. Right here on the, some of the lakes, if people want to go out on paddle boards and stuff like that. So we're going to open this up to you know, your one stop uh, adventure shop. There's so much going on here. We we'll bring friends up. I'll be back here this summer. You guys are talking about the razors and stuff. I'm going to bring some buddies up and we're going to come tear up your razors too. Cedar Mountain has a wealth of opportunities for every type of recreationist, winter to summer, motorized to non-motorized. That's the true test of any good destination. Obviously, if you would like to share the experience that we've shown you today, well, AYL can help you with that right now because you can sign up on Facebook between now and the end of the weekend to win a weekend retreat at Pinewoods, compliments of At Your Leisure and the Pinewoods Resort. Simple to do, just get on Facebook, follow the directions for our contests, and we will pick a lucky winner. Well, I've got to make my way back to the lodge because dinner time is near. Back to Steve and Alicia. Well, if you'd like more information on Pinewoods Resort, just go to AYLTV.com as always. You can watch extended editions of our show and just see all of the things we weren't able to show you on TV. Well, I'm here with Connie Nelson, who's the executive director of the Alf Angen Ski Museum. And this is a really incredible place for people to come and learn about not only the 2002 games, but things that are going on right now. Tell me what someone is going to see if they decide to come here and give you guys a visit. Well, first of all, we're free to the public. We have two museums, the Alfingen Ski Museum on the first floor and the 2002 Olympic Museum on the second floor. What folks will see is the past history of the Olympics and uh, the future. And uh, they'll see the history of the Intermountain West, and that's snowboarding, um, freestyle, all different um, disciplines of skiing. And in the second floor, we actually have the 2002 Olympic Gallery, and there's a whole bunch of interactive exhibits for them to see the different winter sports that we had here in Utah in 2002. We really tried in both museums to have everything interactive, so when folks come in, they really get the feel and the emotion that the Olympics evokes. And we'll even have for the 2014 Olympics, our theater will be streaming live all of the Olympic Games. So if people can come here, see the history, and be involved in the history, but also be involved in the 2014 Games and see where new history is going to be made. Well, speaking of new history, just where we're standing right now, there's actually a new event, or, or the first time that women are actually able to participate in this event, and this kind of chronicles it. Tell me about this. Well, it's really interesting, because we opened in 1997, the Utah Olympic Park, and uh, local kids, starting from five years old, came out and jumped on our ski hills. And uh, a lot of these ladies, well, all of these ladies here in this exhibit are from Utah Olympic Park jumped on our hills here in 1999 through till uh, 2000, well, 2014. They've been trying to get into the Olympics since they started jumping, and 2014 is the first time that women are able to jump in the ski jumping event. It's very exciting. That, that really is, and you can come down here and you can see a little bit of it and find out just about a lot of Olympic history that happened just right here where you're standing. Well, we gotta take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll have this week's product review.
It's time to try something new. February 22nd at your leisure, the Utah Snowmobile Association and Utah State Parks are holding the 5th Annual Take a Friend Snowmobiling Day at the Monte Cristo Trail at East of Ogden. Come on out and snowmobile for free, along with a chilly lunch and hot cocoa. If you've never ridden, this is your chance. We want to extend a special invitation to U.S. veterans and their families. If you've ever served our nation, we want to treat you to a day of snowmobiling. Dress warm and join us February 22nd for Take a Friend Snowmobiling Day. Find out more at snowut.com. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I am standing currently in the 2002 Olympic Museum where you can not only take fun rides, you can witness the outfits that were worn during the 2002 Olympics. You can see all the pictures from the volunteers all the way to the actual Olympians performing. It is not only inspiring, but it is so motivating to see what it takes to be an Olympian. Everyone needs to come on up here and show your support, especially with the Olympics going on right now. Anyway, Chad, how are you doing over there at Ray City? You know, Alicia, Steve talks about how fast that skeleton is, but I think I'm moving faster because I got all the way from the mountain down here in one segment to do a product review. We are looking today at the 315 RL. It's a Coachman Brookstone's brand new model for this year. Pay attention to this, something nice that's happened. This is not painted. This is now gel coat, just like those big fancy motor yachts. That's the nice thing they've done with the finish. Let's take a look around at some of the other features on this particular unit. Of course, one thing that motor yachts don't have is basements. They've got engine rooms. Look at the storage that's available in the Coachman here. And it's winterized, which means that it's got an insulated layer in it where all the plumbing is so that you can actually use this thing in the winter. You don't have to just be a fair weather RVer. Anytime you have a Brookstone, you are going to have this. This is industry leading. Now, I know sometimes there's some of us make jokes about this, but this really is. They sculpt this out right here so that you can actually put this on a regular fifth wheel hitch behind your short bed pickup truck so you don't have to get any of those fancy extended hitch sliders or anything. You just buy one of these and put it on a regular fifth wheel hitch. You got it made. The 315 RL has something else very unique about it, and this is something that's starting to show up in the industry now, long sliders. Because this, when you're traveling, comes into the island like this. Now you can put an island in here like you'd have in your home, have plenty of space to work counters on both sides, and the whole kitchen entertainment area slides out, giving you a room that's nearly 14 and a half feet wide. This is almost as big as the living room in my house. All right, let's take a look at the entertainment center. Da, 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 da. Here's the entertainment center. It sits right off the kitchen area. It extends the counter space, which is kind of cool because it gives you a lot of open space in here. Big screen TV. You've got a full entertainment center and a fireplace. So when it's a snowy night, remember this is a year-round rig. You come over here, you light up that fireplace, you pop down in your easy chair, and it's just like being in a comfy cabin way up in the hills. You pop this up, and you're set. We've been talking about the sense of space, the illusion of space, by making these long sliders that push out, sliders on this side. They've done the same thing up in the master bedroom. Not only do they have a slider that pulls the bed back into an alcove, but check out how they have treated the closet door, the double sliding door. Well, the only thing better than having me conduct a tour is for you to actually sit in a soft leather seat yourself and just dream about being on vacation. And you know what? You can because right now this trailer is sitting down at the RV show. There are very few of them in existence and this one's waiting for you. So make your way down to Southtown Expo. You have until 6 o'clock Sunday and you can come down and uh, you might end up taking one home. Just remember, have the fifth wheel hitch already installed on your truck. Commercial break. We'll be right back with more on Steve and Alicia up at the Park City Olympic Venue. The 2014 Ski Doo Summit, featuring the T-Motion suspension and Flex Edge track. The suspension flexes. 
The track bends. Mountains break. T-Motion and Flex Edge for a more responsive and agile ride. It's technology you'll only find on ski -Doo sleds. The 2014 ski -Doo Summit. Put some adventure in your life at the Sportsman's Vacation and RV Show, February 13th through the 16th. Hundreds of new RVs, motorhomes, and travel trailers. Register to win an Alaskan fishing trip. Come on in, the red outdoors is waiting. snow i have traveled for many weeks i have come with a question where can i find the greatest snow ah oh, you've asked the right question he will show you the way what do you want to find the greatest snow no need to travel for weeks look no further than cedar city and brian head for your access to adventure Follow Ular to Cedar City, Brian Head, and discover a playground of mythic proportions. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are here at the Olympic Park in Park City, Utah, and we are taking you on all the adventures that you can actually come out during this Olympic season and participate in all of these Olympic sports, learn how to do it, and I really have a blast. I'm here with Preston Riggs, who's the track supervisor. Uh, give me more orientation. What am I going to expect? I'm about to do skeleton, right? Yes, you and are. And that is face down, right? So I'm yes. going to be lying on the I'm going to be, lying on be the track. very close to the ice. Right. Basically, you're at the fourth luge start down. We call it the tourist start. So you're still going to be gaining quite a bit of speed. Uh, you'll be on the skeleton sled. We'll get you geared up. And if you have any, you know, pre-existing head, neck, back injuries, recent surgeries, current pregnancies, heart Every, problems, well, you probably don't want to do it. At least. So you're good. We can, we can, we can, we can do this. Yeah, All right. Let's, let's go ahead and get, let's get set up. And <laughs> All ready. right. Let's All do right. it. Can we please have a clear track for Steve from the tourist start? Uh, attention, clear the track. Tour starts. All right, the so Tour have fun. <laughs> so hold on. <laughs> yep, that's all there is to it. All right, we ready to go, AYL? Tour start. Let's Four. do this. Okay, so remember, put your feet down. All right. Once I push you, here we go. Here we go. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the skeleton, folks. Put a track. Put a track from the tour start. All right, I did it from the tourist start. Ooh, let's take this off. That is a very unique experience. I'm not gonna lie, it's fast. Your face is this close to the ice and you're going at 50 miles an hour. So you wanna come out here and give it a try. It is a little bit scary at first, but once you get past that moment of the, the ice flying past your face, you will love it, I guarantee. Well, right now we gotta go up to our trailhead adventure with Reese Stein, check this out. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at Wasatch Mountain State Park where we're horning in on Ladies' Day and Girls' Day too. Dozens of ladies pack the Wasatch Mountain yurt to learn the basics of snowshoeing. For every pound of body weight, there should be one square inch. And like I said, those shoes that I'm wearing is about 200, 200 square inches. So plenty of snowshoe for me. This session includes tips on how to stay warm, but not too warm. So it's layering. Sometimes I'll have six layers on. If it's cold outside, I don't wear a down jacket because that's too hot. You see what I mean? Because then if you get hot, you get sweaty. If you get sweaty, you get cold. Then it's no fun, especially for kids. After the indoor briefing, it's time to strap on the shoes and hit the trail. This clinic is for mothers and daughters only, co-sponsored by the nonprofit She Jumps, a national organization designed to encourage women and girls to get outside and enjoy the winter. Nice to be outside and be able to just kind of enjoy nature and just spend time outside with family. Family that doesn't include dad, hubby, or boyfriend around to chip in with that always helpful critique. The women say that men can often take over and be intimidating, frustrating the learning process. An all-female outing is more relaxed. No judgment, just a lot of feminine camaraderie. 
Thanks it's been really fun. It's been a low impact activity. It's been nice to just get out and be out in nature, even though it's winter. Yes. Sometimes you don't get out of the house, and so it's yep. nice to just get out and have some fresh air, especially when the smog in Salt Lake Valley. Jerry Levi is here with her mom. Tell me about snowshoeing. It's great. It's a lot of work, though. <laughs> good exercise, then. Somebody who's huh? out of shape. <laughs> yeah, this will get you yeah, in shape or exercise. kill you. One. Yeah, huh? so. yeah. 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 Oh. it's fun, though. The session is for newcomers and experienced snowshoers alike, but caters to first-timers. It's fun, and I haven't done it before. <laughs> do you like it? What do you like about it? Mm, you get to get outside and play in the snow. I like snowshoeing because um, I like getting it up in the mountains, but... Um, it's kind of tiring sometimes because they're kind of heavy. It's easy to see why snowshoeing is America's fastest growing winter sport. It's relatively inexpensive. Good snowshoes start around $200, but can be rented at many outdoor stores. Snowshoeing is easy. If you can walk, you can snowshoe. They provide grip and stability on packed trails, as well as flotation on fresh, untracked powder. There's little risk of injury, and snowshoeing burns calories at a much faster rate than running or walking at the same speed. I like it. It's really nice. It's what do you like about it? Um, I just like the exercise and being outside in nature with my family. What's it like walking with snowshoes on your feet? It's hard. I about fell down quite a few times. <laughs> Have to get used to it? Yeah, but it's pretty easy now. If this is your idea of a snowshoe, well, think again. They've really evolved from these heavy, clunky wooden monsters to these high-tech streamlined shoes with lightweight and aluminum frames, strong flotation material, and on the bottom, cleats, which really add to traction, especially on hills. There are even snowshoes designed for running. Snowshoe races, such as the Catula Bigfoot event at Wasatch Mountain, which includes a marathon and 50-kilometer course. But whether you run marathons or hike the backcountry trails of Wasatch Mountain State Park, snowshoes may make winter your favorite time of the year. They're great, and it makes it really easy to just walk right through. Just mm -hmm. keep you up on the snow. Restein at your leisure at Wasatch Mountain State Park. Thank you, Rocky Mountain ATV MC, for that wonderful trailhead adventure. And Reese Stein, we always love your stories. Well, as you can see behind me, I am up here in the beautiful mountains of Park City. And something that most people are not aware of is that there's an adventure park that you can come up here during the wintertime and or the summertime. So you have got to come up here and test this out. I mean, I'm gonna be stepping behind here in three seconds and showing you just how freaking tall this is. Off to the next adventure. This is the summit course, right? Yeah, this is the summit course. The one on the bottom is the canyon course. There's 10 on the bottom, 10 on the canyon course, 13 on the summit course. So, Blake, I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking my nine-year-old son will go crazy over this. What are the requirements for ages or, you know, the weight or... We just ask that everyone's over 54 inches tall and that they're between the weight of 45 pounds and 275. Well, uh, this has been one of the most exciting and challenging adventures I've ever done thus far. But right now we do have to take a quick commercial break. Speed, performance, agility, precision, the new Razor 4 XP. Experience the off-road like never before. At Stedman's Recreation in Tooele, you'll find your best deal on Polaris. Everybody's going to tell you it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. It's time to try something new. February 22nd at your leisure, the Utah Snowmobile Association and Utah State Parks are holding the fifth annual Take a Friend Snowmobiling Day at the Monte Cristo Trail in east of Ogden. Come on out and snowmobile for free, along with a chilly lunch and hot cocoa. If you've never ridden, this is your chance. 
We want to extend a special invitation to U.S. veterans and their families. If you've ever served our nation, we want to treat you to a day of snowmobiling. Dress warm and join us February 22nd for Take a Friend Snowmobiling Day. Find out more at snowut.com. Join at your leisure at the Utah RV Show and Sportsman's Expo this weekend, February 13th through the 16th, and sign up to win a Pinewoods Resort vacation. And watch at your leisure Saturdays at 10.30 p.m. and Sunday mornings at 9 on ABC4 Utah. Nothing will stop us from delivering the service you need. Triple S Polaris, service to the power of three. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. <laughs> Steven! Oh my gosh! We are on the Alf <laughs> Anglin Ski Experience and there's a couple different things you can come here and do. It's like a ride, basically we are, we're kite skiing apparently. Whoa! And this there's also crazy. a bobsledding one and it, it rocks you around and this is a fun thing if you don't actually want to do the bobsled or you don't want to actually go kite skiing. <laughs> I can't apparently talk. I just, I am blown away that people actually this cool. do this. This is crazy. You know, this reminds me of the Disneyland ride, the Soaring Over California. Oh, this is so much yeah, better. This is great. Okay. Well, we do have our giveaway winner for this week. Um, it's a regular oh, AYL sticker winner. And Chad and Rhea caught them. This is pretty killer. So check this out. We are driving uh, along a road out to the Olympic venue right now, and in front of us is a Pontiac, license number 092VNW. They, they have a very classic um, At Your Leisure sticker that's all faded out. I think they need a new one. Oh my gosh, I hope we don't scare the wits out of this woman. <laughs> She's you just a new became, winner. You just became a sticker winner. You're a sticker winner. Oh, I saw your sticker. No, it's been there a long time, huh? Oh. Actually, we thought you needed a new one, so we got one. My husband's going to be so excited. Who's your husband? Tim. Oh, gosh, I see him on Facebook posts all the time. Thank you so much. Right. See, just wear your stickers. Everything will work out. Well, congratulations to that At Your Leisure winner. Oh, Whoa. oh my gosh. We apparently... <laughs> anyway, way to go. Make sure to put those stickers on your car. Yeah, they want to love it. They want, <laughs> they want tickets to, to the fast carts to go racing for you and your whole family. So <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> uh, we've just landed. So uh, why don't we take a look at next week's show? Well, winter isn't over yet, folks. And next week, Chad and Rhea Booth are playing in the powder in one of the coldest environments on Earth. It's not Antarctica, but it sure feels like it. Then we'll find out about how the off-highway recreation opportunities might be changing drastically in Glen Canyon. Will you still be able to ride? We'll have the answers. Finally, join me, Stephen Human, as I hit the Red Rocks with an eye towards spring. Own the outdoors next week on At Your Leisure. Well, Steve, next week sure looks great, but it wasn't jumping off a mountain or <laughs> playing in the snow up here it at the wasn't. local park. This has just been amazing. And if you want to try some of the stuff yourself and check it out, you can go to utaholympiclegacy.com and find out all about it. Well, between now and the next time we all get together, be sure to get out with your family and friends in the great outdoors. At, at your, your leisure. leisure. Let's go boxing again. <laughs> We're doing the Elf Ingen ride. We're flying on skis and this is, it's really cool. This is a fun experience. He totally biffed it on the landing. Ha <laughs> ha